When the canal engineers looked at the canal route across New York, they realized that there was a problem. The elevation in Albany is four feet above sea level and Buffalo is 564 feet higher than Albany. Something had to be done to fix the difference in elevations. Locks were the solution. A lock is a man-made structure that lifts or lowers boats from high and low water sections. The water moves in or out of the lock by gravity. It's like an elevator for boats. It is the job of two lock tenders to get a boat through a lock. In this painting, the boat is in the lock chamber, having just entered from the low water side. Water will be added to the lock chamber so the boat will rise up. When the two water levels are the same, the boat will continue its journey. Let's look at the working model of a lock. Since the lock chamber and low water side are even, the lower lock gate can be opened by the lock tenders and the boat can enter the lock. The gate is then closed behind the boat. To raise the boat to the upper level, the small valve openings at the bottom of the upper lock gate are opened by the lock tenders using a metal rod and a lever system. The water flows in from the high water to fill up the lock chamber. It's like filling a bathtub or riding up an elevator. When the higher water level and the lock chamber water are equal, then the upper gate is opened and the boat is able to continue its voyage west. When a boat starts from the high water side and the lock chamber has high water, the upper lock gate opens by the power of the lock tenders and the boat moves into the lock chamber. The upper gate closes. The lock tender opens the small valves on the low side gate to let the water out of the lock chamber. When the water level is lower to equal the low water side, the gate is pushed open and the boat continues on its way. Lock number 50, Gear Lock, was the first lock west of Syracuse. It is located close to the New York State Fair. This gate on display was discovered buried in mud at Gear Lock. The volunteers dug it up and brought it to the Liz and Dave Beebe Erie Canal Park in Camillus. Visible is eight feet of the gate, but the 12 feet of the top half, as well as some of the boards, rotted away. Locks are a special structure on the canal needed because of the elevation difference across New York State. Without them, the canal wouldn't have operated. There were 83 locks on the original canal and 72 on the enlarged canal. Stop in to see the Lock 50's replica Lock Tender Shanty where the men rested in between the 200 or more boats that lock every day. This video was made possible by generous grants from Solvay Bank. Solvay Bank, make more possible. CNY Arts and News Channel 9. Thank you to News Channel 9 meteorologists Kate Thornton and John D. Pasquale for generously donating their time as narrators for the video. And a special thanks to the many volunteers and friends of the Liz and Dave Beebe Camillus Erie Canal Park who shared their expertise, time, ideas, photos, and artifacts to make this video to share with students from around the world. To find kid-tested activities about the Erie Canal, go to eriecanalcamillus.com and click on the School Tours button.